Hello, it's May thir May 1st, 2013. Hope everybody had a great weekend. I know I did. And let's see what we got here today after going to some nightclubs, working here at the USO. As you can see, it's a good organization that supports many military all over the world. You should donate, especially for those who are still doing or trying to finish off their tax return. I have a million dollars and don't want to really give the rest of it to the IRS. You should have donated it. It's a tax write-off. Your church needs to figure it out. Right, even at this address. Check it out. As you know, I mentioned the website earlier. It's USO.org. That's where I'm mostly found helping others. Being retired military is what I do. I like helping people. Let me see here. Being a single dad, bachelor at best. Obviously, if I wasn't single, there'd be somebody here instead of somebody who treats me like the loneliest person on the planet. And our families are a real piece of work. They came thought they could take advantage of someone who's the son of an officer, only to learn different years later. I'm not someone you take advantage of, nor do I appreciate being treated like crap, or left alone at church for years and counting, or to miss out on my son's birthday for years. Obviously, a guy who goes scuba diving, camping, pool playing, nightclub hopping, going to the gym, oh, is about to do skydiving, I'm sure that'll motivate someone with a senior rank to help some people resign who took part in this issue. Need I say any more? Capiche? Welcome to the new generation of my age with a psychology degree who doesn't put up with crap from nobody. After all, people respect somebody who knows what they're talking about and doesn't have time for ignorance. No matter. Be kind to others as they are to you. I'm going to read you a story after this Bible reading that talks about, specifically talks about that. I'm a child, the eyes of a child. Being a kid at heart. Let me see here. We're going to turn to the Acts of Apostles. Check this out. It's a real good one. The priest does an amazing job on base. Right here at Fort Campbell, Kentucky. Turn to Acts of Apostles 14 21 through 27, 54C. And we're going to turn to, talks about after Paul and Barnabas had proclaimed the good news to the city and made a considerable number of disciples, they returned to Lystra and Anconium and to Antinus. They strengthened the spirits of the disciples and exhorted them to persevere in the faith, saying, it's necessary for us to undergo many hardships to enter the kingdom of God. They appointed elders for them in each church with prayer, fasting, and commended them to the Lord, in whom they had put their faith. They had traveled through Pasadena and reached Pamphylia after proclaiming the word at Percha. They went down to Atalia, from where they sailed to Antinoch, where they had been commended to the grace of God for the work they had now accomplished. And when they arrived, they called the church together and reported what God had done with them and how he had opened the door of faith to the Gentiles. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God, as it says in the Catholic Bible. The next passage I'm going to read to you is one from the priest. Um, he reads that, read that loud last Sunday at church, which is an amazing mass as always. A reading from the book of Revelations, turn to Revelations 21-1 through 5-8. And it talks about John. Then I, John, saw a new heaven and a new earth. The former heaven and the former earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. I also saw the holy city in New Jerusalem coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as bride adorned for us. I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Behold, God is dwelling in with the human race. He will dwell with them, and they will be his people, and God himself will always be them. As their God, he will wipe every tear from their eyes, and there shall be no more death or mourning, wailing or pain, for the older who have passed away. The one who sat on the throne said, Behold, I make all things anew. 
hope some people out there learn that one because what you do to others comes back eventually to you. People respect people who do what's right, not for a friend. Just in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God be with you wherever you are in the world. For after all, Jesus loves you whether you know it or not. He's right there where you least expect it. Who gives you strength, hope, love, fulfillment, alignment. And shows you the fine points of peace is better than war. As most nation leaders can agree. Where is it mostly found is one place you always overlook. Especially you told them. You're never alone in the world, especially watching this channel, not if I can help it. It's the answer is found always right there, doing the right thing, getting an education, not blaming others for your mistakes. After all, nobody's perfect, regardless of where you grow up. The answer is right here in your heart. If you have your heart and your mind in the right place, you can do anything. Don't fall for ignorance or violence. It's not the right way to go. Get an education, don't, especially those trying to come to America. Don't come to America, I said this before many months ago, without a college degree. I mean it. It's harder. You want a college degree, that way you have many doors, not just one, many doors to open up. I know there are a lot of TV stations around. Can't believe he just said that. I tell it like it is. Why else would people respect what I'm talking about? I don't do negotiations, exaggerations. I tell it like it is. Kabish. Salamat. I mean, people who are Filipino in my family, they know what I'm talking about. Being a bachelor, I reckon in these, move, these game, video games on Xbox, a favorite that's kind of harsh to watch at the beginning because, you know, it describes a part of American war history that America took part in and trying to bring our countries often who well, have civil matters needing a little more civil matter of demonstration of peace giving a gift of peace call of duty black ops down for most adults young and old not for children that's for sure when they're 18 they don't stop in their military or from the military family call of duty modern warfare 3 a lot of people prefer modern warfare versus the real deal Bloodshed, you know, nonsense. We were soldiers, again, based on history. After all, freedom is not free, it comes with a price. And our favorite my being into martial arts, knowing martial arts myself, working out at the gym, working at the USO, here at Fort Campbell, Kentucky, you can watch these from the Dragon Dynasty. The Avenging you or Blood Brothers when you're an adult. Oh, Stevie used to go home. Who does not like a Steven Seagal movie born to raise hell? Ironically, how everything I touch fails. And then that I fight it, even more amusing when I go to a store here on base. I'm trying to look for a, game, a video or a game I'm looking for. That already to show it's sold out. I can go at different hours and still not find the same movie. Because, um, It's funny how you looking for something and you can't find it, and then when you're not looking for it, it appears. As frustrating as it can be sometimes, be a kid. You know how kids are, they want things now, not tomorrow, now. They throw things at you sometimes, being little kids, poor you know. I understand these things, God bless you, parents. Then you gotta tell them, well, enjoy your childhood. No computer for you yet. Wait till you're 18, you know, if you'll understand. Next story. Let's see here. Uh, from Sacred Heart Health Committee, 28th April 2013. Miss Jane L. Esker writes from the Sunday Bulletin at Liguri.org. That's L I G U O R I dot O R G. She writes about her little daughter who demonstrates the ideal value of three words that means a lot to most people and kids. I love you. Our refrigerator is covered with a panoply of family photos, she writes, and the children's artwork, usually the artwork stays for a while and then it is replaced by newer creations. But one piece has stood the test of time, a homemade valentine. 
And as you know, most Americans who are in America celebrate Valentine's Day every February. Sharing gifts of love and friendship and three words, often love. Can't say that enough, especially you see it all the time at airports. And watching movies like A Lot Like Love, which demonstrates such an example by Hugh Grant. Amazing movie, must be. Carrying on, a five-year-old Alicia, it's, it's a sweet pink and red heart, and in the center is written, I love you. It appears to be resistance, being the question mark from one who speaks French as myself. I can understand these meanings, Rich, what I'm about to say next. I'm pretty certain Luisa didn't intend to question her love for us, but the thought that the long time in which she ponders her love always makes me smile. Love is on Jesus' mind in the gospel today, but it's definitely not set in the fore of question. In fact, it's command. Love one another. Be even more challenging in his next words as I love you. So you're about to show love one another. He said it. He was about to show the depth of that love on the cross. He loved completely, self sacrificingly pouring out the fulfillment of life. No question asked. To love one another is the thing to love as Jesus loved. And kind another. He is there for you whether you know it or not as I've mentioned many times in my videos, right there in your heart. He takes away all fears, all doubts, all anxieties, all anxieties, all insecurities, and leaves you with love, not loneliness. That's an example for me. After all, in my eyes, we're all equal. Does not matter where I go. It could be the middle of China. Hong Kong, I would say the same thing. God is there for you, whether you know it or not. After all, when it's all said and done, who do we answer to? Uh huh. Kabish, Kabish. Do you understand this meaning? As I love you so, you should also love one another. He said to it again. I was about to show the depth of that love on the cross. He loves completely and self sacrificingly Pouring on the fulfillment of life, the question asked, to love one another is the thing to love as Jesus loved. Quite another, if we were honest, how Valentine's are their main deed. She writes, I love you, question mark, including if we were measuring our love against the standard Jesus set thing. Not all of us are commanded to love these easy loves. The more difficult to love, how can we deepen that love? In self-sacrifice, we can bring down our resistance and love more fully. How can we love as Jesus loved without question? By Janelle Esco. Sunday Bolton at Ligori.org. That's L I G U O R I dot org. God bless you. And her daughter, Lucia. Karen, what other things to put your brilliant minds to if you're in America and you're a guy? Uh huh. Need I say more? And read the newspaper out so you're supposed to know what's going on at Fort Campbell, Kentucky. And who's change will come in? God help you if you don't know that answer. Holy smokes. Four camel practice resilience from the brigade. By Heather Clark. In today's army advertising, some present appears small, nearly tangible enough to be standard issue. It is ever writ as the boots on a soldier's feet. I can speak with this. Here is Colonel Charles Hamilton, 101st Sustainment Brigade Commander. Uh, you practice what you preach, and if you don't iron your uniform, you tend to look like crap. It's better to look, you know, amazing than to not look amazing, because there are always people who answer to the other people above them who understand fully what I'm talking about. Look good on yourself. After all, people look up to people who lead by example, not fall by the way. Stay fit, stay healthy. Parents, make sure that your toddler ages two and up are taking Flintstones with food. It helps, trust me. The less they get sick, the more you can keep your house clean, you'll be all right. Especially those without parents. My heart goes out to you, at least here. It gives you a sense of home, a sense of belonging all over the world. Have a great week. No more departure. Amen. Oh, May peace be amongst you wherever you are in the world. After all, peace is better.